Hello guys, you are welcome to Chris Control Automation. Today we are going to look at how to conduct insulation resistance test on three-phase motor. Okay, so we have this our three-phase motor here. These are the the winding leads. Okay, the leads of the windings. This is U1, U2, V1, V2, W1, W2. Okay, please, if you want to understand how to be able to identify these windings. Then I will urge you that you watch this video on top. All right, you watch this video on the screen. It explains how to check for all the windings to identify them. Okay, between them and then also the edge between each of the windings and then the edge. Okay, now let's continue. We have this our three phase motor. We are going to see okay the strength of the insulation of the windings. Okay, so insulation resistance test is a test down to check the integrity of the winding insulation or the resistance of the insulations of the windings okay so we are come to check for the resistance of the insulation okay between the windings okay and the motor all right or the edge this is the body okay yeah so now what is the minimum value of resistance that we are aiming for we are looking at a value okay from 10 mega ohms and above all right when the value we get is 10 mega ohms and above it means that the resistance of the insulation is very good okay it's very good all right and in that case the motor is okay but any value below 10 mega ohms it means that the motor is very bad okay it needs to be worked on we have to dismantle the motor and check the windings okay so now we are coming to use this instrument, all right? It is called insulation resistance tester or mega, okay? We are coming to use this to test the insulation resistance, okay? Yeah, this is the lease, okay? Some call it alligator clips or crocodile clips because it looks like crocodile. Yes, okay? All right. So now, this is our terminal block, all right? This is our terminal block. Okay, we have the sense list here. All right. We are coming to connect the terminal block in star. Okay, and then we test it. So now this is the star connection. All right. We have connected the, U, the W2, U2, and V2 together. All right. This is it. Okay. So we are coming to test between u1 and then the x the body of the motor v1 and x w1 and x all right okay so we are going to okay select 250 volt dc or 500 volt dc all these ranges they are all dc voltage okay they are the testing voltages 100 volt 250 500 and then 1000 volt okay so because of the size of our motor, we can select between 250 and 500 volts, okay? We can also select 1000 volts, but this motor is small, it's a small size motor. So when we select the 1000 volt, okay, the voltage stress on the windings, okay, is going to be more. In that case, we are going to destroy the insulation of the windings, okay? So it is advisable we select between 250 and then 500, right? So let's select 500 volts, okay? All right. Okay. So now, this list, this list, okay? They already have their resistance. So what you are going to do is, you are going to zero the resistance. You are going to bring it to zero. You do that by bridging it like this, okay? And then you press on the test button. All right, like this. You see? You hear the, the sound it means that you see here we are having 0, 0.00 mega ohms. All right, okay. So we are going to test between U1, V1, W1, and then the X. So let's put some screw here, okay? Yes, so that you can. Use that place as our 18 point. So we connect 
one lead here, then connect to the U1. First on the test voltage. Okay, so we are having three, let's assume 350, okay? 350 mega ohms, mega ohms, okay. Okay, let me show you something here. The voltage that we selected, 500 volt, that is what we see here, okay? It is on the screen, 531. All right, there are some little addition of the voltage, okay? But it is 500 volt, okay? Now, we are going to V1 and then X. This is V1. On the test voltage. Okay, 350, mm, or let's say 358 mega ohms, all right, mega ohms. We are going to W1 and X. This is W1. We press on the test button. Let's assume 355 or 56. Okay. Mega ohms. So these are the values that we got. Okay, between U1 and X, we got 350 mega ohms. V1 and X, 358 mega ohms. W1 and X, 356 mega ohms. All the values that we got are all above 10 mega ohms okay indicating that the resistance between the winding okay and then the motor body or the edge is very strong okay that is what it means 350 million ohms 350 million ohms or mega ohms okay so it means that now we have a strong insulation resistance okay all right now let's try and see if you can test between u1 v1 and w1 let's see something okay between u1 and v1 let's press on the test button and see all right you see that it is giving us a sound okay let's try between between w1 okay It is giving us a sound between V1 and W1. Okay. It is also giving us a sound. Why? Because let's see here. We have connected one side of each winding together. Okay, making star. So it means that the moment we bridge the instrument between here and here, U1 and W1, or U1 and V1, okay? It is the same as, it is the same as bridging the instrument. That is why we got that reading, okay? So it means that we can only test between U1, V1, W1, and then H, but we can't test between the windings themselves, all right? Okay, all right. Now let's connect the windings 
in delta and c. So this is the delta connection. Okay. The reason why I connected it in delta, okay, in delta is that when we open some of the motor terminal blocks, okay, you will see only three cables on the motor terminal block, only three cables. What it means is that they've done the connections either star or delta. Okay, either they connected the windings in star and then they place them in the windings inside the motor. Okay, and bring only three cables. All right, so this way, okay, you do the star connection, and then you place it inside the windings, and then you bring only three cables so that you can connect the three fields power there. They can also do it delta, they can connect it in delta, and then and place them inside the motor winding, and also they will bring only three three cables out on the motor terminal block, okay. So that you can also connect the power okay over there so that is the main reason why okay i connected it in star and then now we are come to test it in delta so when you open the motor terminal block and you only find three cables there you wouldn't know whether the motor is star or delta connected whether they connected it in star or in delta that is why i want us to conduct the test either in star or in delta okay so we can choose to tap it from here all right here and then here all right and then you bring these three cables onto the motor terminal block all right okay so we're going to test between u1 and x v1 and x w1 and then x okay this is our u1 u1 okay and this is our x Let's press it. Let's say 350 mega ohms. All right. 350 mega ohms. So 350 mega ohms. Okay. Let's press on the test button. Okay, so from 350 is okay. Once it is above 10 mega ohms, it is okay. All right, so 358. See now it is slowing down. It is slowing down. So it means that it is getting to its threshold is saturation point all right because we have injected 500 volts into the windings okay so when it gets to a point in time it will slow down the the resistance here will slow down see now it is not going as fast as first it is going slow it is increasing slowly so let's choose 360 or 365 okay Let's check between W1. Mm, let's assume three, 354 or 56. It's okay. All right. 356 mega ohms. So these are the values we also got for the delta connection. Okay, the same value, they are all between the same values. All right, so in this case, whenever you open a motor terminal block and all the sales leads are on the motor, okay, all the sales leads are on the motor, you can choose to connect it in star and then you do your, you do your test. That's all, you are done. Okay, or you can also choose to connect it in delta and then you do your test, you are done. But when you open the terminal block and you find only three cables on the motor terminal block, it means that they have either done this connection or this connection, okay, in the motor windings itself. And then they only brought three cables. Or, okay, if it was star, they will bring these three cables on the motor terminal block. 
Okay? If it is delta, then you also bring three cables on the motor terminal block. Okay? So you can do either of this test. Okay? Yeah. So engineers, this is so simple. All right? If this is the first time you're watching this channel, then kindly subscribe. Okay? And then you hit on the bell icon. You like the video. You put down your comments. Okay? Whatever you don't understand or whatever that you have about this video, just write it in the comment section. All right? And then you share the video to your friends. Okay? I'll see you in my next tutorials. Thank you.